what's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be checking out the NECA Toys Rocky 40th Anniversary figures as we have a look at Rocky IV's Ivan Drago. Ivan Drago, let's go ahead and take the tape measure. Ivan Drago stands close to eight inches, a little shy of eight inches, closer to about seven and three quarters of an inch tall. To do some scale comparisons or size comparisons, let's bring in the other figures that we had to look at. There he is next to Apollo. I feel like Apollo should have been maybe a little shorter than Ivan Drago. I don't think he's as tall, maybe, maybe he is. And of course, next to them, a very small Rocky. Rocky, compared to Ivan Drago, seems right. But perhaps, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. It seems like Apollo seems a little too tall. Now, granted, I've got the hat on him. Let's do a little bit more of an accurate read here. Get him to stand. Now, of course, he does not want to stand. Yeah, I guess that's about right. I mean, maybe it was just the hat that was throwing it off for... I mean, Ivan Drago is still, still taller. I just felt he was maybe a little taller quite a bit still after that. Let's go ahead and bring these figures out of the frame here. And let's have a look at Ivan Drago. Yes, the main fighter villain uh, in the Rocky IV movie. One of my all-time favorite movies and easily my favorite Rocky movie of all time. Uh, having a look at his likeness, I think it's pretty good, actually. It seems to look a lot better from the side than it does from the front. From the side, it really does look like Dolph Lundgren. He's got his crew cut going on there, and a nice, softer blonde. It's not very... Sometimes, you know, when you do hair colors... It does not always look very natural, and I have to admit that the natural color, which would be a strange thing to be talking about for a figure review, but the natural color of his hair looks accurate. So a testament to them. The flesh tone, once again, does look quite good on Ivan. And uh, for outfit-wise, the contrast to the blues and the whites and the reds, Ivan Drago has a very stark difference by having the yellows. Uh, some whites break up that, but mostly it's it's reds and it's yellows making up his his attire. Um, I like the little bit of additional wash that they've added in there as well. And the sides, he's got the stripes and of course the top of his shorts. He still has a very similar looking glove. In fact, I wonder if it's actually... Let's bring in Rocky. It looks like in fact it could be the same glove uh, that what Rocky ended up having both also from tough wear. Drago's reads a little bit as a darker red to the contrast of Ro Rocky's gloves, but it looks like they are the same gloves. Uh, now, Ivan is going to be released, or I shouldn't say going to be. He is currently released in two different versions. This version that we're looking at now, and the, the one in the next video, where he is sporting red trunks. Now, I think both of them look great, because this one you could pit... Um, you know, against Rocky or... I mean, you could pit, them, pit him against either one and would look perfectly fine. And the other one that we will be looking at also has a little bit of uh, blood on his face and a different facial expression too. So, you know, it, it makes sense. It's not just simply just a change of trunks. Uh, it's also got the different face as well. Uh, the torso looks pretty good too. Fairly muscular. NECA continues to impress when it comes to just the sculpt. And like I mentioned also with the Rocky, they've got a slight, it's not a matte plastic, it's got just a little bit of a sheen here. It seems more apparent on the Rocky than on Drago. I mean, Dra Drago barely breaks a sweat until he actually is fighting Rocky. But uh, yeah, it does. It, it looks quite good, I have to admit. And some nice detailing there also on the backs of his boots. I mean, again, I, I don't have really any negative things I could say about Drago, other than the fact that it's a little hard, of course, to move the legs. But, I mean, that's a pretty consistent trend, I've noticed, with all the Rocky figures. Just because this is a, a more denser plastic, it does make for, for a little bit more limitations when it comes to moving his legs. Other than that, though, I'm really impressed with how this figure turned out. All right, so let's go through his articulation. 
His head does rotate all the way around, a hinge up and down. Of course, you've got your joints going in the arms. They hinge outward, a full rotation all the way around. There's a bend at the elbow, rotation in the forearm, and a rotation in the hand. Upper torso ball joint. And like we've already discussed, a little limited here, but at least he does have still the hinge in the lower leg, where you can rotate the leg. He's got the hinge in the foot, and he's also got the little toe a little toe hinge there as well. Great looking figure. Like, Rocky's one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, the Rocky franchise, that is. And of, of the Rocky franchise, my favorite Rocky is Rocky IV. By far. I love Rocky IV. I think my next favorite is actually Rocky III, because I really like Clubber Lane. I think Mr. T is awesome in that movie. But uh, by far, my favorite is, is really Rocky IV. Always really wanted an Ivan Drago, and now physically seeing him in hand, and of course pitting him next to the Italian Stallion, uh, you know, he looks really good. Uh, good likeness, uh, good sculpt, good paint. Once again, NECA, I think, delivers a really strong knockout punch. You see what I did there uh, by releasing here Ivan Drago. Uh, they are currently available now in uh, stores. Comic book stores is where I found them, but you can also find them in retail stores as well. And uh, if you're a fan of Rocky, I would definitely say pick these guys up. Today we were checking out, there he is right there, just getting in the center of the frame here. Today we were looking at the NECA Toys Rocky, Rocky 40th Anniversary, 40th Anniversary, Rocky IV, Ivan Drago. That's going to be a really long title when I eventually put that down below. If you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to this channel yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that little subscribe button down below. And also be sure to hit that little bell down below and turn on the notifications so you always see when new videos are coming up onto this channel. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.